All right, we are ready to read chapter seven and eight today. We are going to think about Cam and Eric after the last chapter got caught kind of spying on that milkman truck. And so they get caught. And in this chapter, chapter seven, we're going to think about what do they do in order to escape? Because remember, their bikes were found. And also, we're going to think about where do Cam and Eric ride to? What do they do when they ride there? We're going to find out what they do when they ride somewhere and how they get there. All right, where do they ride to and what do they do when they get there? So let's think about that as I read. Chapter 7, please follow along with me. It's on page 42. We sure did see your bicycles, a man said. Cam turned. It was the milkman. He was standing behind Eric. Janet, the milkman called. A woman came out. She was wearing a purple dress. It was Janet Tyler, the museum guide. Well, well, she said, look who we have here. It's the click click girl and her friend. The milkman put a key into a lock at the side of the garage door. The lock was electric. He turned the key and the door opened. The milkman led Cam and Eric into the garage. He pressed a button on the wall. The garage door closed. Janet, Tyler, and the milkman started to argue. She pointed to the dinosaur bones on the table. It's all over. We'll have to give these back, and it's all your fault. You should have made copies of the three small bones last night. Then these kids wouldn't have followed us. I'm not giving anything back. Not yet, the milkman said. We'll do just as we planned. We'll take the bones along on our dinosaur hunt. We'll bury them, and then we'll dig them up. Then we'll give the bones back to the museum. Janet closed her eyes and said, I can just see the newspaper headline. Janet Tyler discovers buried dinosaur bones and gives them to the museum. I'll be famous. I'll speak to science groups all over the country. I'll make a fortune. Cam pulled on Eric's sleeve and whispered, This is our chance. Janet's eyes are closed. Take out the whistles you bought. Eric reached into his pocket. He took out the two dog whistles shaped like dinosaurs. Cam took one of them. When I tell you to blow the whistle, Cam whispered, blow it as hard as you can. Stop whispering, the milkman said. Janet opened her eyes. She seemed surprised to be in the garage with Cam, Eric, and the milkman. Then the milkman told Cam and Eric, either you agree not to tell anyone about our plan or we're calling the museum director. We'll put the bones in your bicycle baskets and tell the director you took them and we caught you. Oh, so they would set Cam and Eric up. Cam turned to whisper to Eric. Janet Tyler smiled. That's right, she said. You talk it over with your friend. Quietly count to three, Cam whispered, then blow the whistle. One. Cam quickly turned around. She pressed the garage door button. Two. And the garage door opened. Three. Cam and Eric blew the whistles hard. So they're trying to escape out of that garage, aren't they? Janet could hardly hear the sounds the whistle made, but she knew what kind of whistles they were. Get the bones, Janet yelled. Get the bones before some dog comes and runs off with them. She opened the door to the house. The milkman peeked up as many of the picked up as many of the bones as he could carry. Quick, Eric Cam said, crawl under the table. All right, so they're hiding under the table in the garage, aren't they, boys and girls? Chapter 8. Cam and Eric crawled under the table and ran out of the garage. A big brown dog and two smaller dogs ran past them toward the garage. Cam and Eric ran around the milk truck to the bicycles. Eric tried to open the lock. He turned the dial a few times. Hurry, Cam said. I can't remember the combination. Cam closed her eyes. She said click. Then she thought for a moment. Inside the house, there was a noise. Someone was coming out. 
It's 41836, Cam said. Eric turned the knob. The lock opened. Cam and Eric got to on their bicycles just as the milkman ran out of the house. Stop, he yelled. Let's go, Cam said to Eric. Cam looked both ways. No cars were coming. She quickly rode across the street. Eric followed her. Just as they got across the street, they heard the do door of the milk truck open and shut. Then the engine started. Cam pedaled hard. As she pedaled, her bicycle made a loud clicking sound. She tried to keep pedaling, but she couldn't. The kickstand was in it the way. Cam got off her bicycle. Eric stopped, too. He came over to help. Hurry, the truck's coming, Cam said. Eric pushed the kickstand back into place. They both got back on their bicycles. Cam started pedaling again. The bicycle made a clicking sound, but not as loud as before. Cam turned quickly and looked behind her. Eric was pedaling hard, and the milk truck was behind, right behind Eric. Cam pedaled as hard as she could. The clicking sound became louder again and turned the corner. Eric followed her. Screech! Honk! Honk! Cam stopped pedaling and turned to see what was happening. A car had turned the corner right in front of the milk truck. Both the driver of the car and the milkman had slammed on their brakes. This is our chance, Cam told Eric. Cam and Eric were riding on a busy street now. There were stores on both sides of the street. Cam saw a narrow path on the side of a, ca of the can of a candy store. She rode down the path to the back of the store. Eric followed her. Good thinking, Eric said, once they had stopped their bicycles. When the milkman turns the corner, he won't be able to find us. Cam got off her bicycle. Then she told Eric, you stay here and watch the bikes. I'm going inside to call the museum. There was only one telephone in the store. A large man was using it. Cam opened the telephone book and looked for the museum number. Do you have any shirts on sale, the man was saying into the telephone? Yes, extra large. I want a sky blue shirt, but not a rainy day sky blue. It should be a sunny day sky blue. Cam found the museum phone number. She looked at it and said, click. Then she took a coin from her pocket and waited to use the phone. What do you think when she said click? Why did she say that? Yep, because she remembered the phone number. She can remember it now because she has that photographic memory. And I need a green shirt, the man said into the telephone, but not grass green. It should be more like a traffic light green. Eric came into the store. I saw the milk truck. It rode right past me. The milkman and Janet Tyler looked angry, but they didn't see me or the bicycles. The man said, thank you very much. He hung up and left the phone booth. Back then, boys and girls, they didn't have cell phones to call on, so they had to call on a pay phone. Cam said click to help, the rem help her remember the museum's number. Then she dialed. Hello, Cam said into the telephone. I'd like to speak to the director. She waited. This is Jennifer Jansen, Cam said. I'm the girl who found, hide, who found hiding in the dinosaur room after the museum closed. Who was found? Cam told the director about the milkman, Janet Tyler, and the dinosaur bones. She also told him the name and the address of the candy store. Yes, we'll be here for you, Cam said, and then she hung up. The museum director is coming, Cam told Eric. He said that after we left, he went to the dinosaur room. He looked at the skeletons and saw that some bones were missing. He said we should wait in front of the store with our bicycles. When he gets here, he'll follow us to the house. And that is the end of chapter eight. So boys and girls, what do you think is going to happen next when 
chapter nine starts in this book. Do you think that the person, the director, is going to follow through and come there? Do you think that Cam and Eric will be able to show the director the bones that are missing at the milkman's house? So where do Cam and Eric ride to in this chapter, chapter 8? Yep, that's right. They go to a candy store. And what are they doing at the candy store? They are calling on the payphone. And why did they call? To tell the director, right? They wanted to tell the director that they found where the missing bones are. So next time, boys and girls, when we read chapter nine, we're going to find out what happens if Janet comes and if Janet finds those missing bones in the milkman and the tour guide's house. Okay, have a great day.